Hi everyone, this is Gavin McMaster from Options Trading IQ and today we're going to be looking at seven common beginner option trading mistakes. Okay, so first up, assuming that it takes a professional to succeed with options. Not true at all. Retail investors can succeed at this. You don't need to be one of these guys down here on the floor shouting out numbers and orders. It really is possible to do this online from home. So don't be scared off that you're not big enough or not smart enough um, and don't have enough experience to do this. You really can do it. It just takes a little bit of time, a little bit of application, and a little bit of experience and a little bit of knowledge. So always keep in the back of your mind that you can do this and there, there are other people like you who are doing this and who are succeeding. Number two, not having a predefined trading plan. Now this is really, really important, perhaps the most important one I would say. Um, you know, roughly speaking, I would say probably 80% of people don't have a trading plan and that's probably why 80% of people aren't successful. You need to have a detailed, and this needs to be written out by the way, a trading plan that says when you're going to enter trades, when you're going to exit trades, when you're going to cut your losses, when you're going to take your profits and things like risk management rules and money management rules as well. It's very, very important and it's a constantly developing thing. It's not something that you're going to set up on day one and that's going to be your trading plan for the rest of your life. You're constantly evolving this thing as you gain more experience and gain more knowledge. So very, very important there guys. Make sure you've got a trading plan. Number three, trading options before having suitable knowledge. Now, I'm sure some of you out there are perhaps a little bit guilty of this, you know, getting sucked in by some of the big numbers that people are spruiking out there, um, some of the big risk reward profiles that people are talking about and putting on trades without having a full understanding of what you're doing and, and what you're trying to achieve. So really just do yourself a favor, get yourself educated first before you start risking live capital, paper trade for at least three to six months till you get the hang of it and then go live. Don't just jump right in on day one. Number four, looking at the potential rewards and ignoring the risk. So when people first learn about options trading, they see the, the massive amounts of leverage that is available and they might look at a trade and say, oh, I can invest $5,000 and I could potentially make $100,000 and they get all excited. But what they fail to realize is that they could lose 100% of that $5,000. So, you know, don't get sucked in by these big numbers that some people are, uh, are spouting. <clears throat> make sure you understand the risks of what you're doing and, and understand what the worst case scenario is before you place a trade. Number five, choosing a broker that doesn't specialize in options. Now this is another important one. Uh, a lot of the retail brokers that you might use for your stock trades um, may not be suitable for options. They may have options trading capabilities but they may not be as specialized in options. They may not have a decent fee structure. For example, Options House have a very, very competitive fee structure, as does Interactive Brokers, whereas you know your TD Ameritrade or your, your Fidelity, they're going to be a little bit more expensive to trade options and they may not have some of the functionality in their online platform that you might be looking for. So make sure you choose a good option, uh, an option broker. Um, options House is, the, is a really good one and Interactive Brokers as well. Number six, putting all your eggs in one basket. And again, going back to that idea of investing $5,000 in your options and looking to make $100,000, um, you know, doing putting all your capital in one option trade is definitely not a good idea. Uh, and also, you've got to diversify in the sort of sectors that you're investing in as well that you're trading. Don't be trading all in the, the technology sector or, or all in the retail sector. You've got to spread your investments around a little bit, spread your trading around, uh, and also trade different strategies as well. Don't be just trading long calls or just trading covered calls. Make sure you try some different things that are going to behave differently in different market environments. So you can diversify a little bit of volatility risk is one way to diversify um, just by looking at different option trading strategies. And finally, a lot of people again are probably guilty of this one, whether they're an option trader or just a stock trader or even Forex and it's having an emotional investment in your trade. So how many of you have had a trade and you've hit your stop loss level but you've decided to stick with it and, and you're absolutely sure it's going to turn around and become a winner and all of a sudden you're absolutely wiped out a couple of days later and you're really disappointed with yourself because you've just had that emotional investment in the trade 
and you've just thought you definitely had a winner you know you thought you're smarter than everyone else and and all of a sudden you're sitting on a 50 percent loss so that's another really really big one that uh, is very important when you're trading options just because of the high levels of risk and the high levels of leverage um, you know you really need to stick to those trading rules that you have and cut your losses when you should so guys I hope you enjoyed this short video if you did just hit like below be greatly appreciated um, or share it with your friends on Facebook and also if you want to get some more information and free resources um, such as this one head on over to www.optionstradingiq.com thanks very much guys and have a great day